routine but for the fact that Nancy Crater is that one woman in Dr. McCoy's past. Oh, I get it. She was his dentist. Oh, excuse me, sir, but... Ma'am, if I didn't know better, I would swear that you were somebody I left behind on Wrigley's Pleasure Planet. I don't want to know. Maybe I'll step outside, too. What? And let Plum examine me all alone? Plum? Plum. Pet names. It's quite warm here, isn't it? Sixties flirting, I guess. It's just that it gives me great pleasure to know that she's gotten to see an old friend and has a chance for some company. It was different for me. I enjoy solitude. I mean, same. For a woman. <laughs> I was slightly disappointed he wasn't a red shirt. Suhura, your last subspace log contained an error in the frequencies column. Mr. Spock, sometimes I think if I hear that word frequency once more, I'll cry. A Hera's first line. Cry. To me, this looks like a Bluetooth earpiece of some kind, even though that technology wouldn't be invented for another 30 years. This man has no salt in his body Can you explain that, Doctor? I can't. Except what we normally carry in our bodies is gone from his. He would die almost instantly. Roddenberry did ask a research company about this, who said that a quick death would be likely, although this has never actually happened. That hairdo. Where are you, Sulu? In here feeding the weavers, Janice. Well, I've got your tray. May the great bird of the galaxy bless your planet. <laughs> Sulu's first appearance. Hello, Bulga. Well, I've got your tray. I like how she was munching on Sulu's food, because I would do exactly the same. I couldn't find a translation for this, so I'm just going to give it a culture win. But you're tired. You need to rest. Caring for people. I risk your life for his. He's not trying to kill us, he's trying to frighten us. And he's doing a pretty good job. Honesty. Excellent cover there, Kirk. Come on. You want this, Nancy? Come on, Nancy, come and get it. Come on, get here it is. It just sounds like he's talking to a dog. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I know it should be serious, but I can't with this pose. This is not Nancy. If she were Nancy, could she take this? Stop it! Stop it, Spock! Only the best stunt acting here. Maybe it's just me, but while watching, it didn't really feel like it should be a first episode. Only because they didn't really introduce any of the characters properly. Turns out this was the sixth episode to be filmed, which makes more sense. Otherwise, it's just the cheesy goodness I've come to love. Ma'am, if I didn't know better, I would swear that you were somebody I left behind on Wrigley's Pleasure Planet. 